It's never been easier to enhance the look and feel of your live event, stream, webinar, or podcast than with the Simple Scenes tool inside of EVMux, which allows you to add logos, overlays, video clips, and so much more with just a click of a button. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the Simple Scenes tool inside of EVMux and break down all the customization options you have available. So let's go ahead and dive into my EVMux account so you can see just how easy this really is. All right, so here we are inside of my EVMux account, and what you're currently looking at is the live stream editor. So I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and just with a click of a button, enhance the production and look and feel of your stream so your viewers have a better experience. So on the left-hand side, what you wanna do is you wanna select simple scenes. You're then gonna see the option under graphics to add a logo, overlay, video clips, and background. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and start with a logo. So you can simply come here and upload your logo and once you upload it, you simply click on it and now you're gonna see that it's gonna be displayed on your stream. Then you have the option to go ahead and add an overlay. Now an overlay, what it simply is, is just an option for you to be able to just add a little bit more excitement or display key information utilizing graphics. And you can see here that I have a logo, I have a title at the bottom, and it just starts to go ahead and add to the production of my stream. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and add a video clip, whether this is a video you wanna play, Midstream, or if you want to use an intro at the start of your stream, this is where you'll go ahead and do that. And I'll show you here, I have an intro that I have here for EVMux that I utilize before I launch my stream. But you can quickly see here just like how easy it is to take a stream that's just a webcam and enhance it by adding graphics and overlays and animation to enhance the production. Then you have the option to go ahead and add a background. Now the background feature is mostly utilized when you have a guest or when you have a different layout selected here on the right hand side so if I were to select this layout you can see here that now I have a background as opposed to just having a gray screen on the back this just once again adds to the branding and the production of your stream and then now here you can see here that I've taken just a simple webcam a simple stream and added additional features utilizing the live stream editor but it doesn't end there now when people are commenting or engaging with your stream you now have the option to go ahead and display those comments directly on your live utilizing the social feature so if you're streaming to multiple different platforms or your website or your personal chat here you can go ahead and take questions or go ahead and address certain comments that are coming in and you simply display them by clicking on there now you can see here that there is it's branded and has the layout that I like but if you wanted to have a different layout and change it you can come back to graphics you can go to brand settings and under themes you're able to change the look and feel of how this looks maybe I don't want a purple color I want to go ahead and change this to blue it's simply easy of just like clicking buttons to be able to edit this to enhance the production so let's say I want to use a gradient or I want to use a rounded you can literally customize this to your liking and and it just automatically just allows you to be able to create more engagement with your stream but also give a better look and then if you want to remove it you just simply click on it again and you're able to remove any aspect any graphic that you don't want no longer displayed and you can do this in real time as well so if you're ready live and you want to go ahead and move things make adjustments you simply can just come into the editor click on the things you want to remove or add and they'll be displayed directly on your stream then you have the option for banner now, the way I like to use banners a lot of times is to go ahead and create uh, certain questions. So, for example, if I have this banner here, I can go ahead and add it and say, have a, ask, ask a question for my stream saying, hey, you know, what do you guys like about this? What do you guys like about this? Or this is the topic. This is how you be able to utilize banners. Now, if you want to go ahead and have this, maybe you want this to say, hey, I have an event coming up in the next week. So you don't want the banner to be displayed, but you do want it to constantly remind it. You can add it as a ticker and what's going to happen now is that it's going to go ahead and run along the bottom side of your banner allowing you to continue your stream but to allow that important information to continue to be displayed so your viewers are constantly reminded and then you have the option here to be able to have
have chats. Now, the chat option is for you to be able to engage and speak with viewers or your guests that are on your stream in a private setting. You also have access to be able to go ahead and add lower thirds. And you can do that by coming here to the graphics tab under theme and you're able to go ahead and toggle lower thirds. Now, once you do that, you have the option to be able to utilize some of the default settings that we have already given you, which is the example or the other option here. But you also have the option to be able to customize this if you want to have a little bit more control. So you simply select pro and you're going to see here that you're going to have several settings here on the left hand side. Now you can go ahead and delay before this starts. Let's say you don't want it to instantly display, but you wanted to wait maybe five to 10 seconds. You can go ahead and do that. Maybe you want the name of yourself and what you do and the company you work for or for your speakers to always display. So that way, when viewers are coming into your stream, they know who you are and who your speakers are. So that way they can understand what the stream is all about. But if you don't, you also have the option to go ahead and hide it after five seconds and have it repeat every eight seconds. So you can see here really quickly that there's several customizations that you're able to do to be able to enhance the lower third. You also can change the size, the color, and the position based on your liking. And then once you do that, you can see here that the lower third is now going to be displayed. So you can see here that there isn't anything missing or things that you can't do with inside of EVMUX live stream editor using a simple tool to enhance the production of your stream. So as you can see, just by using the simple scenes tool, you can instantly enhance the production of your live stream without too much effort. Now, if you want to take it a step further and get creative with your customizations of your live stream, go ahead and watch the next video where I show you how to use the pro scenes tool inside of EVMUX, which allows you to do just that. And if you found value in this tutorial and you want to learn more about improving the quality of your live stream using EVMUX, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. I'll see you guys in the next one.